wait for it to fall asleep. So we're going to be using that until. So we need to use our until cat sleeping to collect multiple matches. So a few things. One, we need to use that until loop that we used just before. We also need to use a for loop because we're collecting multiple items. So I'm going to take this opportunity to look back at my code. This is something that real programmers do. They read code to help them figure out how to write code. So we need to do until cat sleeping. If you don't remember how to do it, go back and check. It needs to look like this. We're going to put that inside of a for loop. So let's look at that. All right. I'm going to collect each match. So for M in matches, um, Now, this is a loop inside of a loop. Sometimes our spacing gets a little weird. Nope, not wait. I want to do wait, but I need an until. Until cat sleeping wait. Now, to do the rest of the for loop, I need to get my cursor back in line with this. So, my for loop indents, which means everything in the for loop is starting here. Because I put an until loop in my for loop, like this is for the for loop, this is for the for loop. The until loop starts here, which means everything inside of the until loop starts here. It might seem a little weird when you did this earlier probably you did it with blocks and you could see the loop inside of the loop. All right, so after we wait, then we're gonna collect and M is what we put, collect M. All right, we can't do one loop separately, I've discovered, because the cat will wake up between matches. I've tried it that way. 